girls lacrosse action on a chilly afternoon as the St. Charles Co-op of East and North visit Bennett Academy in a non-conference game. Two and a half minutes into the game, Bennett's Anna Schuster races down the field through traffic and goes top shelf for the opening goal. Bennett up 1-0. 15.53 left in one and a bouncing ball gets scooped up by Grace Lentz who scores on the move, putting Bennett up two. Four minutes later, St. Charles' Talia Townsend gets one to Mackenzie Wells who fights hard to the net and gets it in. Score now tied at twos. Four minutes left in the first half, tied at threes. Lexi Kiefer off the restart gets one past Bennett goalie to take the lead. Co-op still leading with 1.40 to go into the break. Anna Schuster waits patiently with the ball to find a cutting Josephine Napolsky for the goal. Score notched at fours at halftime. 20 seconds into the second half and Red Wing Anna Schuster scores by using the twirler squirler move to get closer to the net. Bennett up 5-4. Just under 20 minutes left in the second and it's deja vu as Anna Schuster once again has the ball and makes a strong move by the defense for the goal. Bennett now leading by two. Bennett's lead cut to one with 11.30 left to play. Off the restart, Talia Townsend blows past the Bennett D to tie the game at six. Four minutes left, Bennett leading by one again, and Caroline Covey off the restart gets Bennett up two. The back and forth battle continues with St. Charles on the attack with three minutes to play. Marie Hubbard centers on to Michaela Thomas for her third goal of the game. It's now tied at eight. 123 left in two, St. Charles up one. Schuster waiting patiently again until she sees Napolsky, who bounces it in for the equalizer. Nine to nine with nine seconds remaining. Can you feel the intensity? St. Charles Thomas with the ball. She'll pass it to middle of the pack to Maddie Wiltrett for the game winning goal. St. Thomas over Bennett, 10 to nine. We knew their defense was really strong and we knew that they were going to be pushing us horizontally. So we knew that we either had to run our plays and we couldn't really drive. So I was cutting behind goal, obviously looking for Josephine to pass to me or also rolling the crease works too if you spin on the inside and get the um, defender away from you. I'd say definitely the draw, but we didn't start with the draw because our field lines are off. But um, after that, we came out with a draw and that really helps because you need to get possession right away. I think we got a little confident and our goals just weren't falling. We were not looking to pass as much as we were to drive and then they were checking our sticks and the refs weren't calling anything so they were getting the possession and our transitions weren't looking as good as they usually do. Um, we weren't getting open um, as much as we usually do and they were trying to obviously defend us on transitions. We tried definitely, they did this play where, where we play zone defense, so the easiest way to break a zone defense is by doing two cuts, so their play was pretty much do double cutter and then have one girl doing ISO from the top, so we saw that early on, so we tried to double the girl on top. 